Okay, if you're here watching this video, chances are you want to learn how to calculate return on capital employed. Um, so let's have a look at the two methods. So let's start with method one. Method one. Um, both of these methods are going to look at return on capital employed. It's looking at your investment. You've got some money to invest and you can either put it into um, a bank savings account where you might enjoy three to five percent uh, on a very long term um, high interest account. So we're going to um, compare any result that we get against that bank account. So keep that in mind for both methods. Now our return on capital employed uh, ROCA or ROSA as it's sometimes known, the formula will stay the same for both methods and that's the operating profit over the capital employed times 100 and that's going to give us a um, percentage. Now uh, the operating profit as you can see is actually evident in your uh, table of data in your question but the capital employed isn't there and it's hidden a little bit so there are two methods that you can use to find the um, capital employed and it really does depend on um, what's in your table of data. Now in this particular one we've got uh, total equity so to find our capital employed we use the formula um, total equity plus uh, non-current liabilities so we're going to um, make that calculation. So we start with um, 2018 okay and we know that our operating profit is uh, 2,804 and we need to put that over the capital employed figure. Now, for this particular example, we're going to have a look at the uh, total equity. Okay, it's that figure there. And there are no current liabilities. So it's quite straightforward. We're going to put 15,470 uh, into that. And uh, multiply all of that by 100 using our formula, which will give us 18.13% um, rounded up to two decimal places. Okay, now that's quite an exciting figure, and we'll come back to that in a moment because we're going to compare that against our bank account. Now, let's have a look back at 2017 and see what was happening in that year. So, first of all, we take the operating profit for that year, which is 538, okay? Uh, and now we need to find our current um, our capital employed. And so we're going to use the total equity, which is uh, 11,755, and add it to the non-current liabilities in this case, which is uh, 1,500. That's going to give us uh, 13,255. And uh, if we multiply the whole thing by 100, we're going to get the result of 4.06%. Now, okay, so let's take that result from 2017. So we've got some money to invest and we can either put it into a bank account, three to 5%, which is nice and safe, the money's guaranteed and it's not going to go anywhere. Or we can invest it in this business. And in 2017, an investment of 4% uh, would have been extremely risky. You wouldn't want to have done that. So if it was that year, you would suggest that um, whoever it was that was investing their money should take it elsewhere. But in 2018, a re an return on investment of 18.13% is much, much higher than anything that the bank could possibly offer you. So this would definitely be a very good investment. Um, so that's method one. Let's have a look now at method two. Okay, so let's have a look at the second method for calculating return on capital employed. So method two. Let's remind ourselves that if we're going to invest some money, we might get between three and 5% in a bank savings account. So we'll pop that up there so we know what we're gonna compare it against. Our return on capital employed formula stays the same. It's operating profit over capital employed multiplied by 100 to give us the um, percentage. Um, but in this case, you can see there's no um, total equity figure. So we're unable to use the formula that we did in method one. So we need to use a second formula. And in this circumstance, we're going to use capital employed equals um, non-current assets plus current assets 
minus any current liabilities that the business has, okay? So let's go ahead and substitute that into the formula. We'll start with uh, 2018. You can see that our operating profit uh, we're just pulling straight out of the data is uh, 2,804. And now we need to find out what uh, the capital employed figure is for that particular year. So non-current assets, uh, 4825, add to uh, current assets, 13, minus any current liabilities that we've got, which is here, 1052. Now notice uh, that these are in brackets. Um, this is just to indicate that it's money that the business owes out. It's not money that they have, it's money that they owe out and so they put it in brackets. Um, don't try and do anything with negative numbers otherwise you end up with two negatives making a positive here and uh, you'll get um, the wrong result. So this actually, um, this formula adds up to 16843. So we put one over the other and uh, multiply by 100 to give us a result of 16.65%. Now, that's rounded up to do decimal places and we'll come back to that in a moment because don't forget we're gonna compare that with our bank account. So let's look at the data for 2017, okay? First of all, we'll take the operating profit figure here of 538. And then we now need to get our um, capital employed figure. So we start with uh, the non-current assets over here, which is 3836. Um, we add it to the current assets, which is uh, 11,267. And then minus off any current liabilities, which is 1052, giving us a result of 14051. Okay, if we put that into the formula, that then equals 3.83%. Again, uh, rounded up to two decimal places. So let's look at those two results. So bank account, nice and secure, money is guaranteed, three to 5% return. Here, this particular business in 2017 was just about getting around about the 4% mark. Again, not um, a safe investment because money can go up as well as down. So we won't, wouldn't recommend that. This year, however, 2018, you can see you get a return of 16.65%, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, and that is something that we'd be looking for. So you can advise your customer to um, invest in this business 2018 but what you might want to say is however you want might want more data on which to observe if there's any trends up or down i hope this has been useful my name is sarah hilton and this is revision station